The Trilock Midline Mounting System places driving controls just where the user needs them. Here's how to install the system on a permobile. Loosen the joystick wires from the mounting bracket and armrest. Push the plastic tabs below the armrest inwards to unsnap them and loosen the wires. To remove the existing zip ties safely without using a knife, which could damage the wire's insulation, pass a hex key or Allen wrench through the zip tie and twist to break the zip tie. Remove the original joystick mounting bracket and clamp. Referring to the Trilock midline mounting instructions, choose left or right side mounting for the clamp. Select the M6 square nuts that fit into the permobile track. Attach the rail mount clamp by loosely installing the M6 socket head screws and M6 square nuts and then feed them into the Unitrack rail. Mount the clamp as far forward as possible for the strongest position. Slide the tri-lock rotating shaft into the mounting clamp and set to the desired rotation for left or right-handed use. Slide the midline arm into the rotating shaft. Most often, the short end of the L-shaped midline arm will be clamped into the rotating shaft, but either end can be used to accommodate the ideal driving position. Install the joystick adapter. The joystick adapters suitable for permobile joysticks are PC045 for the older Pilot Plus, the PC046 for RNET joysticks, and the PC047 for compact remote joysticks. If you need help determining the joystick adapter or other information, see bodypoint.com slash midline. Determine the best driving position for the user and consider their need for support under their elbow and palm. Fine tune the height to allow them to comfortably grasp the joystick handle. Adjust the position of the rotating shaft, midline arm, and joystick adapter as needed. The mounting clamp under the armrest can be angled to offset any tilt in the armrest. Test this position and check for interference at the lower end of the L-shaped midline arm when the joystick is lifted and swung away. If there is interference, the arm can be shortened by marking it and cutting it with a hacksaw. We suggest filing the end smooth and covering it with the included plastic cap. Finally, use the included Velcro straps to secure the wires while allowing enough length to flip the joystick out of the way. Pull back on the rotating shaft rubber sleeve to reveal the red flip stop. There are two flip stops so you can install on either the left or right side. The position of the flip stop determines if it is set to independent or assisted release. Flip the flip stop that is closest to the screw head in the driving position. With the concave end facing the screw, it is set for independent release, allowing the user to flip the arm 90 degrees for transfers and activities. Then, either the user or caregiver can further pull in on the shaft to swing it completely out of the way. With the straight end facing the screw, it is set for assisted release which secures the joystick for bumpy rides or involuntary movements. A caregiver can push on the Trilock shaft to unlock it and rotate the joystick out of the way, or can toggle the flip stop to independent use. The Trilock combines durability and industry-leading versatility. Try one, perhaps with a BP joystick handle, and experience the difference.